The renal division at the University of Colorado has a very long and well-known and very strong history. It was originally started by uh, Dr. Robert Schreier, who was like one of the fathers of nephrology. The renal division at the University of Colorado is very large. We have um, approximately 30 faculty members and we have a number of clinical sites, the University of Colorado, VA, Denver Health. The collegiality and collaboration that occurs in the renal division, there's just lots of synergy in these relationships. And because of this synergy, we can really advance the field of nephrology. Isaac, you were the first faculty member that I worked with when I was a fellow in 1997. So I've been here 21 years, and I found out that you've been here 15 years prior. Right. So a lot's changed in those years. Uh, what do you think the biggest change has been? You know? So you're correct. I joined the division as a fellow in 1982. There have been immense changes. Over the course of, what, 36 years now, there has been a huge increase in the magnitude of the clinical operation, both on the inpatient side and the outpatient side. What hasn't changed over time is the division's commitment to excellence in all spheres, in, in the entire academic undertaking, clinical work, research, and education. Not only have we grown as a division in terms of numbers, but the interests of the people within the division has really expanded. And I would say that almost any area of kidney disease that you could think of or name, there is someone in the division mm -hmm. who really um, makes that their focus and is an expert in that. So I focus on non-traditional cardiovascular risk factors in patients with chronic kidney disease, and I perform clinical trials in patients with kidney disease. My niche, if you will, is in the area of home dialysis, specifically peritoneal dialysis. And my area of expertise is in acute kidney injury. I work in phosphorus research. Polycystic kidney disease. Glomerular disease. I'm a clinical nephrologist and I do research in renal fibrosis. And my work has been mainly focused on repurposing certain drugs to try to be tested in patients with polycystic kidney disease to reduce their cyst volume, their kidney size, and therefore delaying their progression of renal disease. So a big unmet need in nephrology is to discover therapies that might prevent chronic kidney disease progression. Most forms of chronic kidney disease lead to renal fibrosis, so there's hope that if we can arrest this process, we can prevent CKD from progressing to end-stage renal disease. So the Consortium for Fibrosis Research and Translation, or what we call the CFRIT, is a one-of-a-kind initiative that, uh, in the United States. Our goal was to unite both basic and clinical investigators from diverse research backgrounds um, who otherwise normally would not interact with each other. And we've been very successful in establishing new collaborations to study fibrotic diseases. University Hospital has moved to this campus, expanded enormously, it's now a 678-bed hospital, really state-of-the-art technology and state-of-the-art ability to care for patients. Now the VA has just moved to a beautiful new facility down the street from here. The new VA facility is called the Rocky Mountain Regional VA Medical Center and it also has a new state-of-the-art research building and it serves roughly 85,000 veterans uh, who live in Colorado but also in the neighboring five states. So in all three of the main practice sites that we work at, there's just been enormous clinical growth. And that's also given us an opportunity to move that growth back to uh, research and informing additional clinical trials, research questions that we can ask both translationally and at the bench. So our kidney and pancreas transplant programs have really uh, taken off in the last couple of years in terms of uh, accessibility to the community as well as uh, transplant rates. So we went from a program of 140, 150 transplants a year and now we're doing 250 to 270 a year. And that really has uh, come specifically. Wow. I know, so That's we've really improved our, our, our reach. Having done my training here, I would never have imagined to do my training anywhere else. And I think that if I were a fellow coming to, to look at Colorado, I would be blown away by how great it is.
The goal of our fellowship program is to train the future leaders in nephrology. We want them to excel as clinicians, researchers, and educators. And we have a very innovative curriculum that includes several pathways, um, including a research pathway of both basic and clinical science, as well as a clinician educator pathway, and then a master clinician pathway. And our goal is really to take our world-renowned faculty that's here to help educate everyone. We have didactics and really just make the best nephrologist possible and we've trained several leaders in nephrology already. I've spent my whole career here and from fellow to faculty level you're treated as a colleague and everyone tries to lift each other up and work together. Overall we have a very strong division of renal diseases and hypertension. Our faculty members in basic science and clinical research work together which make us a very strong translational group and unique in the country. And all the faculty members are committed in training the new generation of nephrologists.